Hey, this is Chris with Affiliate Tuber, and this is video number three in this series of Yive Apps. You can learn more about these tools by going to yiveapps.com. And in this video, we're going to be looking at using Yive Caster. I know a lot of you has been waiting for this. This is one of my most popular products with Yive, and for good reason, uh, because it can basically build up your YouTube channel for you, helping you to create an authority channel that's drawing in a lot of likes and or a lot of views, which can result in likes and comments also. I actually have several channels where uh, it's got quite a bit of interaction on it just from the uh, Yivecaster tool posting some really good content on it from RSS feeds. And so this is the account that we've been working with. It's only been a few days since I started and you can see that the ones that's been posted over a couple days have got some views on them nothing major but they got a few views and these are all review products now what I want to show you is in one of the previous videos I took you into one of my accounts and showed you how one of my videos that got uploaded to it through Yivecaster had over a thousand views and that was just a couple days ago and I want to take you back in the account now and let you look so over five days this is a video that got posted on there from Yivecaster all by itself and it currently has over 2.6 thousand views. Now I have not been in here to look at this video for probably three or four days so I want to go in here and look and see if there's any likes, comments, or anything like that. Hoping there are, we'll see. Neat take on your listening experience. Okay so we're actually at almost 2800 views. It's got 13 likes and 27 dislikes which that's okay because most people don't know this, but YouTube treats a thumbs up the same as they do a thumbs down. And they made this change a while back because they found out how easy it was for someone just to send a bunch of thumbs down to a video to knock it out of rankings. And so they thought, hey, you know, any type of interaction is going to be called or is going to be just like interaction and it's going to give value to the video. And so whether they give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it's interaction and it's actually going to help your video to rank better. So, but this is just one example. I have many channels with Yivecaster and a lot of them has a lot of views. Several videos I found with over a thousand views uh, and those are views it's bringing into the channel, helping it to build authority. So let's go to my Yivecaster. Uh, this is the third account that I have with Yivecaster. I have nothing set up in it. So I'm starting from scratch and going to show you guys how to set up your channel with Yivecaster and use it for RSS feeds or for keywords. So this here is the account that we was previously using for the original Yive Amazon. You can see where it's been making these posts on here over the past uh, one day, two days, three days, and four days for the projectors. And so this is what we're going to focus on is adding Yivecaster to this YouTube channel. Now the easiest way to do this if you're just using Yivecaster alone, you're going to have to go create a Google API key. If you don't know how to do that, go back to video number one. I show you step by step how to create that API key to use for any of these Yive tools. For this example, because we can use one API with multiple accounts, I'm just going to use the same one that I used with this account also for Yivecaster. So all I have to do in here is I'm going to go down to Google API keys create Google API key and then from this account I'm going to go into YouTube Google API keys and you can see my account here that I set up in the previous uh, in the second video with this information so I'm just going to copy this straight over into my Yivecaster account now when you have your own Google API key, I believe you can upload up to 600 videos a month through that API key total. So you can use this same details for one account in the Yive Amazon, in the Yive SMB, and the Yive Caster, and upload anywhere from one to two videos every single day from each one of those accounts to the same YouTube channel and have a variety of videos being created and posted on that channel. So we'll go ahead and click create Google API key. And now I have to add a channel. Now I'm not signed into this account yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign into that account and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and logged into my account. So now all I have to do is click on add. And it's gonna ask me to choose my account. This is the account. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. 
and it's going to ask me if I want to authorize it. So I just got to click allow and it adds it. So now we have the API key and we have it synced up to the account to upload to. So next all we have to do is create the campaigns and this is actually one of the easiest ones to create. So you're going to come over here and click on campaigns and create campaign. First thing you want to do is you want to give it a name. So for this example we're going to do this is about projectors. So finding an RSS feed just around projectors is probably going to be difficult. So we could always expand that out and make it more broad and just do like electronics, but then you're going to be adding a lot of stuff to your channel that's not based around um projectors so we're going to do ours based on keyword but before I do that I want to show you how to find RSS feeds in case you want to use those instead so what you want to do is go to Google and you can either type in something generic like RSS feed list or you can type in something more specific so if you're doing something related to sports you can even do that do sports RSS feeds and you can see where Google is showing you all these uh, topics or keywords down here. We'll just choose this. Okay, we can see there's some for ESPN, but right here is let's see, this is Fox. Most popular RSS feeds, USA Today. And so it, right here's one. So 55 plus RSS feeds for digital signage. And you could even do something like uh, feeds list and maybe get something more specific just for sports. Uh, like this one here, so just click on it. Of course, that one's not working. Let's try another one. Uh, let's just come up here and do ESPN. Okay, so down here we can try to find the RSS feeds, which we can see here they have a bunch of them. And all we have to do is just copy one of them. So if, if you're more into the football, what you would do is just copy this one right here and you'd go to Yivecaster and you would paste it and that's all you would do for that and then you would select your account this is the one I added and then if you have a YouTube group which is a group of YouTube accounts you want it to post to you would do it here I'm not going to do live I like to do upload especially on newer channels it seems like when you do live uploads to newer channels they can get banned a little bit easier um, but remember we're not going to do an RSS feed so I'm going to go ahead and change this right now this was just to be done as an as an example but if you if you want an RSS feed just go to Google and either type in RSS feed list and you can get a you know all different kinds of lists of RSS feeds from any kind of category or type in the category you're looking for and you can find some that way also and another neat thing you can do and this is something um, that Marcus suggested that I thought was really neat is you can actually create your own WordPress blog and on that blog you can buy private label rights content to a specific niche that you're involved with so if I had a bunch of private label right articles on projectors I could have my WordPress site upload new articles to that every day and then take the RSS feed from my WordPress site and put it in here and what this tool would do would it would actually go out and fetch the articles that it's posting on my website and turn them into videos and post them onto my YouTube channel so there's all kinds of really cool stuff you can do with Yivecaster so for this example we're going to change this to keyword and we can type in multiple keywords if we want you want to try to be as broad as you can because if you're not it may not find content on what you're searching for so if I was to use keywords that were more long tail, such as mini projectors, portable projectors, or 4K projectors, it may or may not find information on that. And what would happen is that if it doesn't find information on that keyword for that day, it's not going to post a video for it. So it's best if you try to make it as broad as possible. So we're just going to use the keyword projectors. And I'm going to go ahead and title this projectors obviously we want English but there are other languages you can choose here exact keywords only I always leave this on exact if you go to related it goes out there and it really finds keywords sometimes that are not related to this keyword and so you find all different kinds of videos being posted on your channel okay we're gonna leave this as upload 
Now, this is really neat here. This is pre-roll video. I have a couple channels where I have this on where I created a pre-roll video with Content Samurai promoting some uh, affiliate products that I promote. And I just made them like 15 seconds long. And I said, if you're interested in such and such, be sure to visit this, this website, www.website.com. And so that video plays at the beginning of every video that Yivecaster uploads. So it's kind of like a 15 second promotion, but you can make them longer. You can make them 60 seconds. You can make them however long you want to, but the shorter the better. And then what happens afterwards is that it, it, it continues to play the actual video that it created. Now, as with the other Yive products, you're going to choose your language here. And then you're going to choose who you want to speak. I always just leave it on Matthew. We can add the translations. And then description. So this box is to promote a different URL or content in the video description area under the video before the resource link. So the only thing that Yivecaster puts in here is maybe a few words and then the source link. In other words, where it got the, in the details for the video at. So this is a great place for you to put in a paragraph of text and it does accept spin tax. And by the way, um, a couple videos ago, we done one on Amazon where it did not support spin tax, but now it does. So um, the Amazon, the Yive Amazon now supports this also. But what you would do here is I would just go to spin rewriter and I would come up with a small paragraph, which I'm gonna do here in a minute and I would paste it in here, but at the beginning of that, I would put a link to a website or an affiliate offer or whatever it is that I'm promoting. So what I could do is go to Amazon, let me go ahead and do this, okay, and I could look for projectors, and then I can just take this link here and grab my link for it. I can copy it, go back here, and paste it. And then here I can see, I can type something in like check pricing, whoops. And then after this, I'm gonna have a paragraph or two of spin tax. So it's gonna be different on every video that it uploads. So I'll do that here in a minute. Now for tags, you're just gonna use um, a variety of tags based on the keyword that you used here or the keyword that you entered up here. So you can use whatever keyword tool you guys use. There's all different kinds of keyword tools out there. Um, to find a list of keywords to paste in here, just make sure they are separated by commas and you have no more than 500 characters total, including spaces, because that's all YouTube will allow in their tags. These are filter words. Uh, basically, we will exclude those articles containing these filter words. I don't use this. Now, depending on what you're trying to get videos made for, you may want to use this. I don't know, but for me, if it finds specific words, even on a page that I would like for it to create a video on, it may not create it if, you, if it finds that word. So I usually don't use this. And then for videos per day, I usually do about two and then separate it by about an hour a piece and then keep it active. And then all I would do is click create campaign and that is it. It would take off and make two of these videos every day as long as it could find content every day on this keyword of projectors. So it might be a better idea for me to add more keywords in here, but since I'm being specific with this YouTube channel just on projectors, that's the only thing I want it to find. So if it can't find content every day on projectors, that's fine. Um, hopefully every other day at least it will. So that's all I'm gonna do for this. I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, Easing Articles or Google and find a little bit of content and then spin it up and paste it in here. And then I'll go ahead and submit this campaign. Okay, so I went to Google. I done a search for projector buying guide and found some useful websites and took some content, just little pieces of this one and this one. Took a little bit of that text, a little bit of that text, threw it into Spin Rewriter. You can find this tool at spinrw.com if you're interested. And I just created this real fast, copied it, and pasted it in here. And you can see we have a bunch of spin tags in here now. And so that's all there is to it. So as for the tags, I use a refs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tags also. So here I am in my a refs. I done a search for projector and I'm just gonna get down through here and find a bunch of, 
ones that I think would be good to fit this. As long as I don't go over 200 or 500 characters. So let's just let's just use these here. I want to copy these. And one thing that's great about AREFs is it automatically sorts it um, with a comma. So I don't even have to do that. It does it automatically. I just have to paste it. And they're in here. No filter words, two videos, active. And so I'm going to create this campaign. And that's all there is to it. Uh, but really, that's what Yivecaster is. And so when you use it with Yive Amazon, it works really well. It kind of mixes things up. So we're going to have reviews on this channel. Then we're also going to have content related to projectors also on here that's not reviews, not taking them to Amazon. That's going to mix it up some and give it a little bit more authority and hopefully bring in uh, more traffic. Now, I will tell you that if you use RSS feeds instead of keywords, you're going to get more traffic because RSS feeds, especially if you're targeting big topics like sports and news and uh, world news or whatever it is, it's going to be making videos of the latest news and things that are that people are currently searching to find answers on. So you're going to be getting a lot more traffic by using those than you are just by using keywords alone. So that is my um, kind of review over Yivecaster and how to get it working. If you haven't picked it up yet, go to yiveapps.com. That link's also under this video, and you can learn more about each of the each one of the tools there that's available. And you can go ahead and pick it up and get started.